When Northern Michigan looks for champions, it looks to 9 and 10. Northern Michigan sports leader. The top two teams in the Lake Michigan Conference collide tonight in Kalkaska with the 6th ranked Blazers welcoming in 10th ranked Traverse City St. Francis. Now Kalkaska and Traverse City St. Francis were supposed to play a month ago, but weather had other ideas, postponed that game, and makes tonight's game even bigger. Both the Blazers and Gladiators ranked in the top 10 with matching 13-0 records. Winner tonight sits alone atop the Lake Michigan Conference standings. We'll have highlights leading off Sports Extra that one. Now, Kalkaska and St. Francis, just two of seven area teams in this week's Class C girls rankings. St. Ignis sits second, Claire is seventh. Honorable mentions go to three Highland teams, Pine River, McBain, and Manton. Central Lake still owns Class D. Gillard, St. Mary, and Posen tied for fourth. Manistee Catholic, sixth. Mason County Eastern, ninth. Brimley, tenth. Mentions to Ellsworth and Pickford. And in Class B, Morley Stanwood comes in at number three. Big Rapids, Ludington, Shelby, Kingsley, Grant, all earning mentions. Just like the girls, plenty of Class D boys teams as well. Cedarville holds down the top spot. Posen boys matching their girls team with a fourth ranking. Big Rapids Crossroads is in there as well. It's seventh. Mentions go to Sacred Heart, Pelston, Bel Air, McBain, NMC, Bear Lake, and All Gray. Meridian, Glen Lake, Forest Area, McBain, they all get Class C mentions. Petoskey coming in the lone area team in the Class A ranks. The Northmen sit 10th. With four losses in their last five games, the CMU men's basketball team travels to Buffalo, New York tonight. If the Chippewas hope to run with the high-scoring Bulls, well, they'll need to play just like they did a week ago in a 91-point showing against Ohio. Buffalo, though, sporting the second highest scoring offense in the conference, putting up nearly 14 more points per game than CMU is. Tip-off set for 7.30. Now, the Pistons have the tough task of taking on the NBA's top team tonight. The Spurs are in town. San Antonio 42-8 and on the year. With a win tonight, would be off to the best start in the NBA since the 1996-97 NBA champion Chicago Bulls. Game time there, 7.30. We'll have highlights of that along with the CMU Buffalo game for you on Sports Extra. I'll see you then. Final look at the conditions out there right now. Obviously, wind chill factors already below zero. Expecting a bitter cold night area-wide and a bitter cold day tomorrow. On top of that, lake effect snow developing around the UP between late tonight going into Thursday morning. Extensive snowfall for the Straits in the UP. Otherwise, yeah, cold snowy next couple days. But the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, things will be warming up in the 20s and 30s. So a nice little break after this quick uh, hard cold spell coming through. All right. <laughs> we'll so got nothing it. to say. Yep, done. <laughs> we'll live with it. Oh, thanks for joining us. The CBS Evening News is back. We'll be back at 11. Have a great night. When you see news happening, call the 9 and 10 newsroom at 1-800-STAR-910 or email us at news at 9and10news.com.